Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build a Boeing 767 and this one is well kind of loosely based off the 767-200 if you guys want to know in you know, specifics I guess. Um, but obviously you can just modify it to make all of the different variants that you would want to actually make. So the texture pack I'm going to be using for this tutorial is LD Modern which is one of my own texture packs. If you guys want to use another one feel free to do so, it's all using just the normal blocks. So, you know, just switch out colour for colour, but yeah, pretty easy, so go with that. If you do end up using this build on a map or server, please do give me credit for my design. What do I mean by this? Just shove up a sign somewhere, probably in the cockpit, saying original design by Lord Daka or tutorial from Lord Daka or, you know, something along those lines. What that does is it really, really helps me out. It gets my name out there just a little bit, and that means that I will be able to make more of these, whereas if my name doesn't get out there, I just won't make any more. So it actually helps you guys out in the long run. You can also just put a sign right next to it saying built by, and then shove your name right up there. But that would really, really help me out, guys. This plane's total length is 61 blocks, 49 blocks wide, and 18 high. It's not amazingly big. The main thing that you guys will be uh, kind of... Taking your time on it, it will be the wings, but I'll make sure that they're explained really simply. The rest of the actual plane is stupidly easy. Another thing that you'll notice with this tutorial is I'm giving you a completely blank slate. Loads and loads of people always ask me to do liveries on them. And the thing that I actually do is I give you a blank white slate. You can then attach your own or you can do your own livery onto your plane and actually see how that looks. So that will just allow you to be a little bit more creative with your own builds, but also... You know, it saves me doing a video a million minutes long <laughs> going through every single livery as there is quite a few different types that you could do. And of course, you can always make up your own. So maybe at one time I might do a, in general, kind of livery video. But if you guys want that, just, you know, comment and I'll do one, I guess, uh, to cover all of my planes. But I will be giving you guys a blank slate so you can actually colour it in as such. Anyway, that's enough blabbering on, let's get started on this epic tutorial. Okay, so for layer number one and two, what you guys are going to do is grab some black wool right at the front, and now we're going to do the wheels. Now, even if you guys are building this one in the air, I still recommend doing the actual wheels. The reason being that we can use these as markers for later on, and I, I most likely will be. I haven't obviously done this tutorial yet, but I'm pretty sure I will. So just grab your black wool, just place down two blocks with a gap in the, in the actual middle. Place down never brick fence and shove your buttons just on the outside so that gives you two front wheels. Now in terms of orientation, I know sometimes you guys get kind of switched around. This plane in the background, use it. When the front of the plane is that way, it's the front of the plane when it's looking that way. So try and use that in the background. So right behind this, and there we go, so front of the plane. What we're going to do is we're just going to use some blocks just to count out. So these aren't, you know there constantly, but we're going to do 26. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now what we're going to do is grab your orange wall still, and just going up to the sides, we're just going to add an extra two box, like that. So you get this really weird shape, so you've got 26 going that way, and then you just added two blocks onto each of those sides. We have black wall, what we're going to do is we're just going to go here, and here, and here, and here. So we're going to put in four wheels, do the same on the other side as well, like that. So it's a little bit weird, like I said. Then with our never brick fence, we're just going to go through down the middle. So this is going across this bit. This is why I've put in that visual reminder for you guys to see where you've actually gone. And we're just going to put one right in the middle as well, because that's what we'll do. Grab your buttons, put those on. There we go. Put your buttons on. Let's fly around. There we go. Put buttons on and buttons on. We go, and now you can get rid of all of this. So we've just got that one in the middle for both of those. We also need to do another middle one in for this one. So we go, take out that, and shove your never brick fence going up. That gives us just like a basic layout. So those are just our wheels. So let's get on to lane number three. Okay, and now for lane number three. So come to the front and grab your white wool. Now I'm using white wool and quartz because that's how you make a white plane. But uh, if you wanted to do it light grey, for example, use light grey wool and stone slabs or light grey stained clay or whatever the hell you want to do but I advise just going with a simple colour getting all the shapes done and then you can start messing around with the colours it's a lot easier at a later date so grab your white wool shove that on top like this add two blocks right to the front of this so you've got these ones here now you just move back by one and just do two now I'm only going to show you guys it on one side at the beginning then I'll 
do the other one with you because planes are kind of simple. I might as well do it on both sides for you guys. So, got that two there. We're then going to have a 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Next, we're going to go out and have 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And they're going to move in and have a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then we're going to have a 2. 1, 2, and then a 2. 1, 2. So we're just going to get our outline. We're just going to do the same on the other side as well. So we're just going to have this 2 here. 1, 2. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Then we're going to have a 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then we're going to move in and have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We're going to have a 2. Whoa. There we go. Two there, and then it gets the two at the end. Now, all you need to do is just fill this up. So, you can just fill all of this up pretty easily. And make sure you fill up these. We're just going to put the slabs on as well. So, this is the nice base layer. So, once we've got this done, and once you, if you get this right in basically one go, uh, it makes everything else so, so much easier. Uh, because everything really does just sit on top of this. There we go. And there, uh, of all of these, and yeah, this is the boring bit, <laughs> but at least once we've got it done, any other bit we need to do is the top as well, so, boring bits, there aren't too many on this tutorial, it's not too bad, right, there we go, so we've got the outline, next bit we're going to do, right where we've got these back wheels, we're just going to add an extra piece of never brick fence, and it'll just join in, I think it joins in somewhere else, Somewhere along the way, I have no idea how to look at it when I actually get to have a look at it. Then you're going to grab your quartz slab, so we're just going to put one right on the side of this. So it's quite kind of uh, flat nosed, I guess. You can see here, it kind of you know, quite simple. We've got those there. They're going to have another one right here. Now the next bit's a little bit different. If we come to where we've got that run of 14, uh, and also where we've got the 16, so this is the 16, we've got the 14 there. What we're going to do is we're going to have a total of 12 slabs going forward. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Same on the other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So that should line up. Yep. So we just get these slabs. It's just to make it look a little bit slimmer uh, instead of having you know, very, very chunky with blocks. If we can use slabs, we can use slabs. Go right to the back now. Add two slabs right on here. 1, 2. And they're going to have 1 one and then we're gonna have a six from this bit one two three four five and six so on this side what we've we got we've got one one and six one two three four five and six but that gives us a layer number three nice and simple uh, but once we've done that let's go on to the next one okay and now for layer number four so this is going to be one of the most difficult ones uh reason being we introduced the wings we put in the engines I guess it's not really difficult, maybe longer, longest? Yeah, longest. So if you come to the front, go forwards by one block. So we've just got one block here, and they're going to have a one like that. That's, that's your one. <laughs> you can normally just go one, one. So you've got another one here. Then we've got a four. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to have a 36. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. 36, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, so I'm going to double check this. I've got World Edit and World Edit CUI actually installed, so I can actually do this kind of visual thing for you guys. And also, if you see down here, you got a 36. So that should be able to help you out at least every so often. Um, we've got 36 blocks there, which is two blocks over that slab. And they're going to move inwards, and we're going to have a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that doesn't seem right, but I'm sure it is. But then we're going to have a two, one. Two and then a one, one like that. And I know why this is right. We're actually just going to fill these up anyway. So we're just going to do the same on the other side. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and thirty-six. So I'm just going to drag this up all the way. It's not too bad. Right to there. One, two, three, four, and one. There we go. So we just do the same on the other side for that one anyway, and we'll just fill up that gap. Now, what you guys need to do as well is fill this floor up. This is actually where uh, the main passenger floor is, like here, this block up, instead of down here. So I'm going to use a world edit command. Uh, so if you guys do have world edit, you can do this, but 
that's not right. I pressed my button, so slash slash fill R at 35 and then 50 or something like that. I'll fill it up. Yeah, 211 blocks, which is quite a few to just fill in that gap, but once you've done that, we'll get on to the next bit here. So, next, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some slabs. Right in the front, we're going to go one, one, then we're going to skip this one, and then we're going to have one here. So, pretty easy. One, one, skip this bit here, and then go for one. So, same on the other side. One, one, skip. Well, not one, one. One from that front, one there. Skip this one, then have a one there. That makes sense. It's kind of difficult to show you guys. It really is, but uh, yeah. Then, if we go from the back, what we're going to do is going to go one, 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 and then we're going to have three, three slabs. Three slabs. One, two, three. So, I'm reading from a sheet. So, we've got one, one, and then three slabs here. One, two, and three. That's given us that next bit, so that's giving us the next layer. Nice and easy. So, what we're going to do next, we're going to start on the wing. And yep, yeah, I told you it was an extra impact one, this one. But while we've got this layer of 36, what we're going to do is we have to, can I have to, we're going to have to, we're going to have to count, for, well, we're going to have to count 16, basically. So I'm going to use my cool wand of magic. So here, right here, is 14. So you're just going to go two over. That'll be your 16. So there we go, we've got our 16. Here, you can use whatever you want to mark it. I'm just going to leave that in there for the time being. But from here, we're going to go one. So we're just going to add an extra block onto it. So we've got a 16 gap. So you can vis visibly see 16 blocks, not not slabs, blocks. There you go. They're going to move backwards. And we're going to have a two. So we've got one, two. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have, going backwards again, three blocks. One, two, three. Like that. Now I'm going to get rid of this. So... I'm going to go across to here, I'm going to go 1, and a 2, then a 3, 1, 2, 3. So we get this kind of like little bit here. This is just the underwing because it does you know, move upwards. Then what we're going to do is, counting this one right here, we're going to go back with 6. So you've already got your 1. You're going to go 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then what we're going to do is going to move inwards, and we're going to have 2 going this way. 1, 2, like that. Then this one is going to just join into the middle, and it should be five, counting this block right here. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. See, it's weird like shape, basically. Do it on the other side. So counting this one, we'll do a six going backwards this way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're then going to move inwards with this two, two. And this one will just join right into the plane. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. So there you go. Five blocks there. It's not too bad, but it... I can see why it could be a pain in the ass. <laughs> so, what we're going to do now is we're just going to fill this up. So these are our little wing parts. Just really, really tiny, like underwing bits, uh, like supports. They're probably a lot, lot thicker than they should be, but it's Minecraft. It's the only way to make it look like it's uh, shaped correctly, I guess. So there we go. Fill these in. There we go. I got these like really kind of crappy bases. What we're going to do next is we're going to build some engines. Now I'm going to have to jump and check. Yep, I know where it is now. So, engine-wise, or I think I know where it is. I'm just going to fly over. It's going to be easier. We'll have a look at this one, and there it is. Cool. Lots and lots for me to learn for this one. <laughs> but what we're going to do, grab your white wall. Right from this end piece where we've got this free. So we go front of the plane there. So there, so we're looking backwards. One, two, three. We're going to add three blocks onto it. Then on this, we're going to have three court stairs, just on the sides, and then underneath it, we're going to have three blocks. We're going to have three under, well, under, un, upside down, upside down ones, not under stairs. And then under here, we're going to have three. So we get this like really simple tube type of thing. Uh, it is just really easy. Now, I can't remember if there's an extra block. There is an extra block on this bit. So right on this middle bit, we're just going to put in an extra block like that. And right here, might be underneath of there as well. Let's have a look. And sorry if I'm looking at this loads, guys. It's just it's just so goddamn complicated. Yeah, you got an extra block down here. Then we got a one block there. Then we're gonna have an uh, iron block, and then we're gonna have a button on that iron block. Right down here, we're gonna have a slab right underneath that, and that's it. That's the one that we wanted. So we'll do the same on the other side in a second. It'll make more sense. It's just always weird. No matter how long I can look at something, it still won't make any sense. Now for the engines, I actually use glowstone. It's a nice place to hide lighting. Put in glowstone there, and then put an iron bar. You notice as well that I knock it back by a bit. You could do it right the way up to here. Um, I just don't 
think it looks as good. I think it looks better down there. I don't know. It's up to you. Right, so then we got that. And that's it done. So right here, on the end, one, two, three. Grab your stairs. One, two, three. Around to the other side, one, two, three. And then underneath, one, two, three. One, two, three. Then you've got your upside downs. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. Right in the middle. One, two, three. Nice and easy. So we're just going to add onto the back of this. One, two, and three there. There's lots of threes on this. But then we're going to have a block right on the back. And then right on the back of this, we're going to have an iron block with a button on it. And we're going to put a slab right underneath here. So it gets this kind of smooth bit here. And that is it. I'm just going to put in the glowy bit. There you go, glow bit and your iron bar. And that will give us that, which looks cool. Now, there is a tiny little extra bit as well, because this layer just keeps on going. But we've got two here, like two slabs. We're going to have four. One, two, three, four. So just on the back piece, this is where it kind of like attaches in underneath the wing. It's got two here, and one, two, three, and four. But you'll be happy to know that that is it for layer number four. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, and now for layer number five. So come to the front, place a block directly on top, and add one to each side. So you just get three going across. That's where it starts to uh, flatten out a little bit. Yeah, flatten out a little bit. So just add one on the back of each of these. So it's kind of like weird thing. So you got three going across, and join on to that, you got just two like this. Then next, what we're going to have is we're going to have a three. One, two, three. Then we're going to have a 43. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So I'm going to double check that one. Because then I can show you guys visually where it is. And also, I don't make any mistakes. But there we go. So we've got, not sep, not jab. There we go. God damn it, buttons. Right, there we go. So we've got that. We've got 40, 42, 42, we actually need 43. What's 42? Yeah, we need 43, so we need to go over by 2. Sorry about that, guys. Going nuts. So we've got 43 blocks, but they're going to move in and have 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then what we're going to do next is we're going to have a 2. 1, 2, and a 1. 1. Like that. So do the same on the other side. So we've got 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then we've got a 40. Three blocks, but we can just line it up with what we see on the other side. Uh, you get the more you do these, the more you get used to lining up things and stuff. There we go. There we go. We've got one there. Then one, two, three. So that gives us the first layer on that. If we now grab our slabs on the front, what we're going to do is just going to have a slab here and a slab here. So we're not even doing anything on this front anymore. It's got these on the sides there to make it a bit smoother. Fly all the way to the back. And, oh, we need to fill up these, so just fill these gaps up. It's really easy like that. So, right on the back, we're going to go one, 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 and one. <laughs> nice and easy, isn't it? So, one, one, and one. Nice, cool, nice and easy. That gives us the main body of the plane, as well as the slabs for the main body of the plane. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a part of the wing, and another bit of the wing. So, this is the, the main bit of the wing, I guess. And we've got this uh, raised bit at the end. And we're going to get onto that. Next layer, I guess. So we're just going to do, on top of the last wing bit, we're going to go one, two, two. Then we're going to have a one. I'm going to go around this way now. So we've got one, two, two. One, two, two. And we've got one, one. And then we've got two going the other way. And then two going the other way. So what do I mean by the other way? I mean going across like this way here. It's a bit of a weird shape because it's about the total wing rather than anything else, just the underwing. Underwing? Yeah. So we've got those there. So one, two, two, one, two, two, one, one, two going like this way and two going this way. Now this one, we're gonna go towards the main plane. Counting this block we're gonna have a six. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look towards the back of the plane, because we're gonna start moving inwards this way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a two. One, two, like that. Then, well, actually, no, we might have a two this way. That I will probably have to look at. Let's have a quick look, just to make sure that we don't make any mistakes. So we've got a six here. We've got two going across. There we go. So nice and easy. Make sure we're going direction-wise, instead of just me going nuts. So take that off. So from the six, we've got a two going this way. One, two, like that. 
Then what we've got is a 1, 1, and then we got a 2, I think. I think we got a 2, 2, then we got a 1, 1. Yeah, we do. That's what we've got, definitely. So, we've got from this start point on top 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, going like forwards and backwards, I guess, um, towards the front. The other way, or this is what I call the other way. I call the standard way. Actually, I usually call that the standard way and that the other way, but. Never mind. Yeah, you got two that way, and then you got two that way. This one goes across by six in total. Then moving inwards, you got two, one, one, two, one, one. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit weird and kind of complicated, <laughs> but it's fine. Once you get it, and if you do get stuck, I always just watch it through again. Um, or take a screenshot of... Or just pause the screen. You don't need to take a screenshot. God damn it. Uh, just, just pause the screen, and then you'll see what I mean. I'm going to do it on the other side anyway. Because um, I have no idea why. We're going to go 1, 2, 2. And I'm going to move towards the back. Now, this is more difficult for me because the light is crazy. So I'm going to turn off shaders. There we go. So we've got 1, 2, 2. And then we're going to have 1, 2, 2. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have 1, 1. And then we're going to have 2 going this way. Like that. And then another 2 going that way. Then counting this one, we're going to have a 6. So you got 1. Two, three, four, five, and six. So there we go. That's what I mean. We'll start to move inwards. Then, if we look towards the back of the plane, what we're going to do is we're going to have two, and then one, one, two, one, one, like that. And then again, we can fill this up. It's a bit of a weird shape, but it's it's like a cumulative, cumulative. It's all added together. It makes the wing shape. Yeah, it makes sense what we've done when we got the uh, last bit as well. You'll see what I mean. So, but it is very strange. So, fill this all in. All right, I'm gonna whack my shaders back on because they do look cool as hell. Uh, also, it does help with some shades in this. Right. So, for slabs, we're gonna do right in this inside wing piece. We're just gonna put slabs on all of these. So, all of this bit where we've got like a connecting joint, like here, right next to just putting a slab. It, it just makes it look a little bit smoother. More connected. Right, and then on the end pieces, like here. Right here, we're going to have two and then a one. And that's it. <laughs> that's all we're going to do. Two and a one. That's how it gets connected on. So, two and then a one of that. Bam, done. That is it for layer number five. I know that these are getting a little bit longer, but hopefully you guys have stuck through it and you're doing well. Okay, and now for layer number six. So, what are you going to do? Come right to the front. Place one directly on top, I actually need to deselect that, there we go. Place one directly on top of the last one here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a one, three, one, two, three. Then we're going to have a 45, one, two, three, four. And I'm actually going to count from here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, so I'm just going to drag this back. I ain't counting 45. So if you just drag this all the way back to on top of that one, that's 44. So you just go one over the last one right there. What we're going to do is we're going to move inwards and we're going to have a two. So you get two here. Now this is a little bit weird because we've got this winglet piece here. So we've got two going this way. Now we're going to go out again. We're going to go out and we're going to have one, two. Then we're going to move in and we're going to go one, 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 one. So we've got a really weird piece. So if I do the same on the other side from the front, I think it's easier from the front. Pretty sure it is. So we're just gonna have a one, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and just drag this all the way back to forty-five. And since you've got it on the other side and counted it properly, I'm sure. Oh, well, actually, you don't need to. You just need to go over by one. Then we're gonna have a two here. We're gonna be back out. We're gonna have a one, two, 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 one, two. So you get one, two. And we're just gonna have ones moving inwards. So you got ones moving inwards to here. Then just fill these up. I'm sure it's another bit that we need to fill up. I can't remember exactly how much of this we need to do. I guess we'll see when we do the next layer and how it moves inwards. Well, we will see that when we move inwards, actually. All right, but that gives us the main base for it. So, we'll go to the front. What we're going to do is we're going to put our slabs on. We're going to go one, one, and one. So, it's directly on top of the last one. I have to make these kind of, like, slab pieces here. So, you got one, one, one. Now, if we fly all the way to the back... We've got on the back piece. I think there's just one right on the back. Let's have a look quickly. Yeah, there is. There's one right on this back piece. 
in here. So right in here, we have one there. Then on the wing that we're going to have one here and one there. It's a bit weird, but one right there. Then on the wing that one, one like that. A bit weird. If you get it wrong, don't worry. I'm sure it'll figure itself out at some point. So now what we've got is the wings. This is going to be a bit of a weird one. So um, how am I going to explain this one? If we go to right to the end of it, where we've got so we've got one, two, two, one, two, two. Then we're going to go one, one, and then we've got the two going the other way compared to these ones. Yeah. So we've got two like that way. We're just going to place a block directly on top of that one. Add one to each side going across the the edge of plane. So then we get three blocks there. Three blocks right like that. Okay. And I'm having to look at this now as well quite a lot. But we're going to move backwards. We're going to have one. One. Then we have three going across. So one, two, three like that. So three going across that way. Then we're going to have one. Then we have three going backwards like that. So we've got this kind of like corner piece here. Then connect onto this one going backwards this way. I'm just going to put an extra block. So I've just got two. Then what we're going to do is we're going to look towards the back of the plane. I'm going to go one. And I'm going to have a three. One, two, three. Going across. And then we're going to go one, one, one. And that does not look right to me. Why does that not look like right? Let's have a quick look. It might just be that it's connected in directly off the back of that. Let's have a look. So we've got two blocks here. One, one, one. Three blocks. One, three. Two, one, three, one, one, one. And we got that two. Aha. Uh -huh. Two, three, two, one, 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 one. And then we got two there. Yeah, so it's just an extra block there. That's all I missed out. And just add your extra blocks onto it. Like that. Now, for slabs, all we're going to do is just on this inside piece, we're just going to put in a couple of extra slabs. And that's it. That's, that's honestly it. That's it for the wings. The biggest pain in the ass on any of these planes. So if we do the same on the other side, where we've got this two going backwards here, place a block directly on top, and I'm going to take my shaders off, add one to each side, and then what we're going to do is going to go out. So I'm looking towards the front of the ship, ship, front of the plane, doing too many plane, uh, ship tutorials, and they're going to have one, one, and then three going across, one, two, and three. Then we're just going to add an extra one on here, we're going to have one, sorry, yeah, so we got three... One, one, three, one. Then we're going to have a three going this way. Then add an extra one on the back here. Look towards the back of the plane. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a one, three, one, two, three, one, one, one. And then we've got this extra block here. And then we can fill that in. So it's a it's a weird one. But if you do get stuck, just watch it again. So you've got three, one, one, three, one, three going across or going backwards. Join that on with a two, and they go going moving inwards, one, three, going across, one, 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 and they got this extra block here just to even it all up. So there we go. A little bit weird. I know it's weird. Right, if you grab your slabs, just shove those on like that. But that gives us it for the wings. You can kind of see how they work now. Uh or not. But um People that want to do these type of wings and raise them up and things, um, build them flat and then start to just push blocks up. And you'll see what I mean when you start doing it yourself. But you just you just start pushing them up. Maybe you just do a you, know, you don't do like this top layer. You'll just do two layers and you just push up the end. Try that and then push up other bits. It, that's how you work it basically. But what we're going to do now is get onto the next layer. Okay, and I completely forgot about this bit. So <laughs> it's the windows and the doors. We need to put them in really. So we've got on this longest run here. We're going to leave three of these blocks. One, two, three. Go to the next, cut it out, and shove in a door. Then, just every other one, you're just going to put a piece of glass, so stupidly easy, really. Shove these in. Uh, keep on moving your way across. Then this one right here, we're going to have a door. And just keep going. We're going to go five. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. And then this is where you're going to have the door. There we go. And then put that in. And there. Then, what we're going to do is we're just going to keep on moving across. Same as the other side. And this is actually not that. This is actually the way your door goes, and it just mirrors the other side. It's really stupidly easy. It's a nice simple pattern. There we go. And put in your other door. So there we go. That gives us the main windows and doors and things. So let's get on to the next one. 
Okay, and now for layer number seven. So, come to the front. Now we're going to have black glass. So this is for the actual cockpit. And if you haven't got the black stained glass, just use normal. You know, it doesn't really matter. It's black stained glass. Yeah, it is. So we're just going to go back by one block. And we're going to have one, one, one. Then we have three blocks behind this. One, two, three. So that's onto our normal ones. Then next what we're going to do is we are going to have 41 blocks. So I'm not going to count this. I'm just going to show you guys where it actually ends up. So just drag this over. It'll cover up pretty much all of the glass. Or it should cover up all the glass. And if we just drag it down to here. I think it's actually in line with this one. There you go, 41. Yeah. So it's just two blocks short of the longest run that we've got here. It's starting to kind of come back inwards. They're going to move inwards. And we're going to have an eight. So you got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. And eight. Just like that. So next we're gonna have a two, one, two, and then a one. Like that. So we've got two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, and then just drag this all the way to the top. Or to the front. And wherever the hell I am. There we go. So we're going to just do the glass as well. So we've got one, one, and then three on the back. One, two, three, like that. So there we go. That gives us the kind of next layer. What we're going to do now is grab our slabs. It's just going to be a slab right in this gap here on the front bit. There's no more on the, the nose. Uh, now, when we go to the back, it might be better to. If we put in a slab here, I'm just trying to think of the best way to do this one. And yeah, we need a slab on the back piece here. I think then we'll leave the next bit for when we do the winglet, which is going to be now. So, on top of this slab here, just place a block. And this is going to go out. Just going to stick out. We've got this two here. And they're going to go back and look to the front. Go one, one. Then we're going to have a two. Going across this way. Then we're going to have a one, one. And now I'm starting to get confused because this looks massive. We've got two. Then we got one, one, two, and that's why I'm going wrong. So we got here. <laughs> Ignore me. Two going this way. One, one, two going that way. Then we're just going to have two going this way. So we're just going to add an extra block. Then counting this one, it's going to go towards the, the actual plane by three blocks. So you got one, two, three. So you got three blocks there. One, two, three. This is where it's a little bit complicated. That's why I was getting lost. Then we're going to move inwards and have three blocks. One, two, three. Then we're going to have two, one. Two like that, normal. Right, so let's take shaders off and just count this out. So looking towards the black back here, we got two, one, one, two. Then we look towards the actual plane, counting that block there, we got two. Then what's what well look towards the actual front of the plane, we've got three blocks, one, two, three. We're moving in, one, two, three, then we got this two going across like that. I know it's weird. It's a weird plane. It's getting more and more complicated, but just fill these in. Like that. Then grab your slabs. We're just going to put a slab right here and right here. Like that. And it's stupid easy. So same on the other side. We're just going to have... And we're going to switch this off again. One directly on top and then go two. Look towards the front. We're going to go one, one, two. Add an extra block on the back. Then we're going to go one, two, three. Then what we're going to do is we are going to have... Well, we're going to have three blocks. One, two, three. Then we're just going to have two blocks here. And fill all that in, like that. Grab your slabs, just put a slab on here, put a slab on there. And that is it for that layer. So we're starting to get there now, guys. I think we've only got a couple more left. Okay, and now for layer number eight. So come to the front, grab some white carpet. So this is something I don't always use, but just put white carpet on top of all of these pieces of glass. It's just to make it look uh, kind of extra smooth and everything. Then grab your slabs, and we're going to put in three slabs. So we've got one, one, and one. You can actually use the hitbox on the carpet to actually do that. But I'm actually going to put an extra one. There's an extra one as well. I'm pretty sure there is. Let's have a look. Yeah, there is. So we've got those there. So it's five slabs in total. Then behind this, we're just going to go one. This is for four blocks. One, and then we've got one, and then we've got 47 blocks. <laughs> pretty long. But if we just grab this, drag it in, you'll notice that it's one block in as well. To make it easier. So there we go. One block in. Where does that take us to? That gets us to 43, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we need 47 blocks in total. There we go. So if it's there, I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3 on top of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move inwards. We're going to have 3 blocks. 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to have 2. 1, 2. 
Same on the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then just drag this across. All the way back. There we go. And we'll get it all the way to here. Put that in. Then we're going to just fill this all in. Basically, this is the roof. So you can see how kind of big it is. It's three blocks by five. Three by five, yeah. It's quite a big plane. If you guys want to put in lighting, by the way, uh, just put in... I might as well show you this guy, this now. So if you wanted to put in lighting on the top of this, just put in lighting like here, for example. Then use your carpet on top. Really simple. Uh, you'll hardly even notice it. And it might actually make it look a little bit more rounded. So, yeah, that's where you put in lights if you wanted to. I'm just going to fill this in. There we go. So, really easy to do that. And I keep on missing blocks out, but it's fine. There we go. Just keep on filling these up. And I spend all of our time just filling in the roof. Before getting on to the next bit. But there we go. Got a couple more slabs to put on, and then we got the main... Can I, remember what, I can never remember what that piece is called. I've learned it so many times, but by the time I get to the next video, it's gone. So, there we go. Right. So, what we're going to do is, if we fly to the front, grab our slabs. Right here, we're going to go two, more, two of these back, and then we're going to have a total of 37 slabs. So, we're going to leave these two. 37 slabs. That's pretty massive, really. I'm just going to drag this all the way across, because I know it's most of this. I think it's actually two blocks short. It is two blocks short. So there you go. Two blocks short on either side. That's really difficult to see on this side. That's why I always do it on the other side. There we go. So if you have this across as well. Two blocks short on each side. There we go. Two blocks short there. There we go. And there we go. And what you want to do now is right on the back. Now I can't remember if there's a block. There isn't a block on the back. So we need to put in a block here. But there is a slab right here, and there's a slab here. There and there. Like that. But there we go. That's what you get. So we'll do this last piece. Okay, and now for the last tail piece. What we're going to do. Add one block on top of this one. Then going backwards, we're going to have three blocks. One, two, three. Then we're going to have three sets of two. So you've got one, two, one, two, one, two. And I've tried to put it out of shaders to make it look a little bit clearer, but it's difficult sometimes. There we go. That actually looks better in shaders. So we've got two here. Well, we've got one here. We just added one on top. We've got one, three, two, two, two. Now, counting this block, we're going to go nine in total. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're going to have a slab right here. and going to leave this block. Then it's just basically going to be stepping up in stairs. So I advise just... I can actually just make some steps here, really. All it does is it just steps steps up here, so I'm just going to make the steps right until you get to the top. All you need to do is just shove your stairs on. There we go, like that. That's it. That's honestly it. But um, yeah, that's it for the Boeing 767. Well, I guess 200, but you know, you guys can modify it and have a look at the variants. Uh, it's pretty easy, I think. It's not too bad. Nice simple one. Hopefully, you guys will find uses for it. But hopefully you've got enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, see you guys on the next one.